Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're going to be talking about what to look for if your car will crank but not start. I have a whole video showing a lot of other things for this as well, so check the video description for that. It'll cover other things. But today we're going to be focusing on the fuel rail pressure sensor, or FRPS, which is this black box right here. Very common on Mustangs for not starting. So to illustrate, we're going to unplug it and go ahead, and this is what would normally happen uh, if it's not working. And so... Um, basically, the vehicle will crank but not start. Uh, I was able to get the car started afterwards. How long it would have ran after that, um, I'm not sure. Now, most likely you will get a check engine light, and if you run the code, like in this case, you can see it's for the fuel rail pressure sensor. You may have a slightly different one. Um, but the next step, very important, you want safety glasses, if not goggles, uh, because the fuel pumps are still supplying pressure. So the car just doesn't think that there's pressure when the fuel uh, pressure sensor's out. And so what we're doing here is we've removed the cap, and we're just going to come in with a screwdriver and push down directly on this valve. And when you do, you may have seen that it just squirted out some fuel there. Um, that's how you will need to re uh, relieve the fuel pressure so when you remove the sensor, it doesn't spray it all in your face and in your eyes. So this is a very controlled way of doing it. We just put the screwdriver down and push right down on that valve. Okay, so now for the rail sensor itself, there is a vacuum line on it. I would highly recommend removing it first. And uh, next you'll take a seven millimeter socket. as uh, kind of an odd size there, right? So uh, there's two bolts, one on each side. And so all we're gonna do is remove both bolts that are on each side of the fuel rail pressure sensor. So we'll go ahead and take that one off, come over to the other side and just remove it. And now this is uh, very simple. The rail sensor will just pull straight off. Okay, so go ahead and wiggle it and it will just pop straight up and off. And you'll lose a little bit of fuel, um, but that's all there is to this sensor. And if you look at it on the bottom, you can see there's just two O-rings or a few O-rings on it and uh, that's, That's it. So you're going to take your new sensor and uh, make sure it's all clean in here. And we're just going to press it right back down in. So it just slides in. Make sure that those uh, rings are lubricated as well. If it's a new sensor, maybe put a dab of oil on them and uh, just slide it right back onto place. Or the bolts back in on each side. Okay, we're going to go ahead and plug our sensor back in and reattach our vacuum line for it. And uh, that's as easy as it is to replace the fuel rail pressure sensor. So we're going to go ahead and give it a try here. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Check the video description. I'll put a playlist to all kinds of videos that are similar to this. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Thanks, guys.